Palestinian leaders are saying that the Obama administration's backing of Israel and its refusal to halt Jewish settlement expansion has killed any hope of reviving peace negotiations soon. While visiting the Middle East this past week, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton endorsed Israel's view that settlement expansion in the occupied West Bank should not be a bar to resuming negotiations, contradicting the Palestinian position. In recent months, President Obama has switched positions, backing off of demands for a settlement freeze and instead now asks that Israel only exercise restraint in settlement construction. This about-face has stung the Palestinian leadership, as well as frustrated U.S. allies such as Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Jordan. Nabil Abu Radina, a spokesman for Fatah leader Mahmoud Abbas, said, quote, The negotiations are in a state of paralysis, and the result of Israel's intransigence in America's backpedaling is that there is no hope of negotiations on the horizon. Palestinian chief negotiator Saeb Arakat says that it is a critical moment and he is insisting that the settlements must be stopped to revive a peace process. He said, quote, pressuring Palestinians to make further concessions to accommodate Israeli intransigence is not the answer. Palestinian government spokesman Ghassan Khatib said, quote, I believe that the U.S. condones continued settlement expansion. Calling for a resumption of negotiations despite continued settlement construction doesn't help because we have tried this way many times. Negotiations are about ending the occupation and settlement expansion is about entrenching the occupation. Israel had promised to halt all settlement activity in a 2003 peace plan, but construction has never stopped.